All right, today we got a brand new laser engraver right here. This is the X-Tool S1 laser engraver. This is the basic kit. Uh, this is the box that comes in right here. I'm gonna do a quick overview and show you everything that comes in the box and show you how it's packaged so you know exactly how it is when it shows up at your doorstep. The box is kind of big. It's big and heavy. Right on top. You can see once I open the box, I pulled this piece of cardboard off, and uh, we have this green box right here, which is all our instructions and uh, creativity book, and a book with all the different languages and everything about setting it up inside of it. But we'll take a closer look at that in a bit. Having the straps yank it out of the box makes it real easy. We got our X-Tool honeycomb plate, which is see-through. Pull that big chunk of foam off. Looks like we have another X-Tool booklet, I'm gonna say. No, it's not a booklet. It's like, uh, it just gives us a bunch of sample pieces to use. Inside of this box, we have some grease, X-Tool toolkit. We have our air assist hose, this vent connection with the flexible three inch vent, air assist pump right here. It's got a little filter there on the bottom. Power supply, the 10 watt laser head, power cord, USB, the USB-C connection cord. All right, so looking at the back of this, everything is labeled nicely and easy to read, which I really like about that and uh, just makes it easier to do everything so your dongle goes there it looks like a key maybe and your computer power power switch our air assist another cord for that pump and then also the rear vent for this and like i said it has that where you can just leave it or you can put this on so if you're using it in a garage or something uh, you can have a vent hose coming off this to vent it over here on the side, there's an emergency stop. Push it, it'll shut it off. Super nice, I really like it. Everything about this is really high quality and I'm super impressed with it so far. There's a little bit on the back here talking about it as well. But I will go ahead and I'm gonna get the laser head put on it. I'm gonna get the laser head put on this and I'll get the honeycomb plate put in and get ready to try it out and just get it turned on and see how it works. So looking at this laser, before I finish putting it all together, it looks like we got a power button right here, which is a simple click. I don't have it plugged in yet. I really like how the top lifts right up. It's nice and rigid. Everything about it feels nice and rigid. You can see if I grab the corner, move, flop it around. It doesn't really flop around. It's just nice and solid. The laser attaches back here to the head. There's some zip ties back there I have to remove first. And it looks like we have some other instructions right there on the side. Oh, no, nope, just a couple screws up here that'll hold it in. All right, now with the laser head on, I'm gonna go ahead and get the, I'm gonna go ahead and get the power cord plugged in, get this thing powered up and see what happens. All right, so I have my power plugged in. I have my honeycomb board in, the laser head is attached. I have my air assist pump right here plugged in, but you can see we have an auto mode off, one, two, three, and max mode. We have the airline going into the back of the unit and also the power cord that is supplied uh, for the air assist pump. So I'll go ahead and I'll turn this thing on. Close the lid down. Flip the switch on the back, and we'll see what happens. You can see it has lights on the inside. We have lights on the inside. We have the crosshairs right here. So you can line this right up on projects wherever, uh, wherever you put them here on the workspace. But overall, really nice. I'm really impressed with this. 
and this is just the unboxing video and assembly so far is real easy but overall uh, my first impressions after disemboxing this is the quality of this build is exceptional i'm really happy with everything about it just the overall quality of this thing is phenomenal and i would definitely recommend it